Today is Saturday. It is currently 10.06 in the morning. I just woke up in such a cozy, chill mood this Saturday, which is not normally how I wake up. Normally on Saturday mornings, I'm up early, ready to clean, ready to do stuff around the apartment. But today I just wanna chill and I wanna have a very relaxed day. I think it's because it's so gloomy. I woke up around 7 a.m. and it was still so dark here in Tampa. It's very cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain, but who knows if it'll actually rain. I woke up in the mood to head over to a bookstore, pick up some books, and spend the day reading, drinking some tea, maybe some hot chocolate, you know, just relaxing vibes for the day. I looked up bookstores near me and the only thing that popped up was Barnes & Noble, so that's where we're heading to. It literally just opens up at 10. Hopefully it's not too busy because I do want to vlog. I didn't know that there was a Barnes & Noble really close to me. The last Barnes & Nobles that I went to was like 30 minutes away and I thought that was the closest one to me. The power of a Google search. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. <gasps> that's you not having it but you guys know i've been on a reading kick lately and i want to keep up with that kick in my last monthly reset video i also mentioned that i've been reading a lot more on my kindle app which is still true but i also want to start reading outside more so maybe like going to a park going to the river walk and just sitting down somewhere and reading when i envision myself outside reading i envision like a physical book in front of me and not just me on my phone reading because i feel like if i head outside and i start reading on my phone i'm probably going to get distracted and go on instagram or or YouTube so I just want a physical book so I can just put my phone on do not disturb head outside sit down get some fresh air somewhere and get lost in my book I've never filmed this type of video before on my channel so let me know if you guys enjoy these bookstore slash book shopping vlogs I can definitely make them like a monthly series on my channel I'm all about monthly series something about just sitting down in front of the camera having a raw conversation with you guys catching up telling you what I've been up to, what I've been reading, and things like that just brings me a lot of joy. <laughs>
got my tea in hand and now it's time to go over the books that I picked up from Barnes & Noble. Make sure to grab a nice cup of coffee, a nice cup of tea like me, or maybe some hot cocoa, whatever you prefer. Grab it and let's have a chat. I am back from Barnes & Noble. I picked up a couple things. I honestly wanted to go crazy and buy a shit ton of books, but I decided to pace myself because realistically, I knew if I picked up 10 books, I probably wasn't going to read all 10 this month, to be honest. So I just picked up three books and a journal. Now, I know that one of my goals for 2022 was to not buy any more journals, but to be fair, the journal that I'm currently using is almost out and it's only February. It's only the second month of the year. So I technically do need a new journal. And when I saw this one, I just fell in love with it. I think it's so freaking cute. It's actually a sketchbook. So when you open it up, it's just a bunch of blank pages which is actually perfect for what I need it for because I like to brainstorm ideas for my YouTube videos or for content in general. So this will give me the space that I need. I'm really happy with this purchase. It was only $10. I'm obsessed with the cover. When I saw the cover, I was like, I cannot walk away from this. It's just a bunch of different books. Some of the books are actually like risen on the cover. So you can feel the difference. And I just really like how the cover feels. It's super, super nice. And since I've been on a reading kick, what is better than a journal full of different books? And then let's get into the three books. The first one is a number one national bestseller and it's called The Kakuku's Calling. The author of this book is Robert Galbraith, which is actually JK Rowling. I guess she wrote the series under a different name. This book came out in 2013. Not sure why she decided to write it under a different name, but she did. I've actually never read any of the Harry Potter books. Well, I think I read the first book and then the second book I got like halfway and then I just didn't finish the series. <laughs> Basically when a troubled supermodel falls to her death on the balcony of her London home it is assumed that she has committed suicide. I don't even know if I can say that word on YouTube. <laughs> However her brother has his doubts and calls in private detective Corman Strike to investigate. Strike is a war veteran wounded both physically and psychologically and his private life is in disarray. The case gives him a financial lifeline but it comes at a personal cost. The more he dwells into the young modest world the darker things get and the closer he comes to terrible danger apparently it's a really really good book it's actually the first in its series so if i enjoy reading this book i'll start reading the rest of the series it is a thick boy this one is almost 500 pages it basically is 500 pages but i'm really excited to read it i love thrillers you guys will notice that I am obsessed with thrillers like unsolved mysteries, crime books, like I live for all of that. So this one looks like it's going to be really, really promising. When I say that it's gloomy, it is extremely gloomy right now. So the lighting might be a little off. I'm so sorry. I picked up another thriller because why not? This one is called The Stowaway and it's by James S. Murray and Darren Wearmouth. This book was actually the most expensive out of the bunch that I got. It was $27.99. I forgot how expensive books are at the bookstore. Apparently, this is a suspenseful masterpiece from international best-selling authors Murray and Wearmoth about a cruise ship stranded at sea with a serial killer hiding abroad. Fun fact, I have a bachelor's in psychology and for a while there, my goal is actually to go to grad school and become a forensic psychologist. I dreamt about hunting down serial killers ever since I was in high school and then through you know, life, I realized that I didn't really want that as a career anymore, but I'm still obsessed with true crime. I'm still obsessed with everything that has to do with psychology, especially forensic psychology. So when I saw that this book was about a serial killer, I was like, count me in, done, I'm buying it. But basically the synopsis is, Two years ago, Maria Fontana, the head of the psychology department at Columbia University, sat on a jury for one of the most depraved cases ever to pass through City Hall. Wyatt Butler, an antique watch restorer and alleged serial killer, was portrayed in the courtroom as a brutal monster. But Maria had to make the tough choice. In good conscience, she couldn't convict him purely on circumstantial evidence and her deciding vote set Wyatt Butler free. The media soon outed her as the lone juror in 
and her successful and quaint life was turned upside down. The victims of Wyatt's ritualistic killings never forgave her either. Flash forward, Maria and her family decide to take a little vacation to get away from all the chaos and they decide to embark on a cruise. People start disappearing, they start dying. So now Maria has to figure out what the heck is happening in order to protect her family and she needs to either figure out if there's a copycat on the cruise or if the people committing those murders is actually the serial killer that she set free. So I'm sure you can understand why I picked up this bad boy. It sounds like a really good thriller and it's going to probably have me at the edge of my seat while I read it. It looks like it's a pretty quick read. Like the font is actually super big. It's only 310 pages, so I could probably finish this in one sitting. And then the last book that I picked up is a classic. This one is 1984 by George Orwell. I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys know what this book is about. But if you don't know, a startling and haunting novel, 1984 creates an imaginary world that is completely convincing from start to finish. No one can deny the novel's hold on the imaginations of whole generations or the power of its omniscience, a power that seems to grow not lessen with the passage of time. I'm pretty sure I read this in high school and I'm pretty sure I read Animal Farm as well by the same author, but I honestly can't remember the entire book. I remember bits and pieces and this is a book that a lot of people tend to quote, especially with everything going on in the world right now with how quickly technology has been advancing. So I decided to pick this up and reread it. I think I want to incorporate at least one class classic book in my monthly readings. I've always wanted to start reading more of the classic books. I've heard so many great things about the classical author, so I'm really interested in reading some of their books. Some people may find it boring. I might find them boring, but at least I could say that I read them, you know? Let me know in the comments below what book you're currently reading. I would love to know. Maybe I'll check it out next month. You never know. I love filming monthly reset videos where I tell you guys my thoughts and rate the books that I read for the month. I also purchased a couple books on my Kindle app that I did not mention in today's video. So if you want to find out what those books are and hear my thoughts on them, definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on the monthly reset videos. And that is pretty much it for my book vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is definitely a different side of me, a different type of content that I've never uploaded before on my channel. I love reading. I always have. And I felt like I lost my way when it came to reading last year, but I'm finally getting back into it. I'm really excited to continue reading and to continue telling you guys about the books that I read as long as you guys care. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you a part of my little community here on YouTube and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.